Hi everyone, I'm trying to start the December vlog because I haven't been vlogging for the last one and a half week and it's always strange to pick up the camera again. But yeah, I got an impromptu slot for filming, but I sound really coarse because my kids had a cold. And afterwards we're going to go to a very small tiny Christmas market here where I live and then um, I hope I get the time to do a little holiday season makeup change because I'm getting bored of my everyday smoky eye makeup. Yeah, but I better get started filming for as long as my mom is watching the kids. Okay, managed to film two videos, both of which you will probably have seen by now. Time to clean up the post filming and picture taking mess. It's freezing and we're actually off to the Christmas market for the first time this year. Uh, it's a very small one. It's just, um, there's a big one in Heidelberg where I live and then there are smaller ones in each part of the city. And we're going to go to the smaller one because it's just this weekend. And it's an old castle-ish thing where it is and I hope it will be really, really nice. It is Sunday and we're off to Mainz, which is the city where I used to live or where we used to live before we moved to Heidelberg. And the reason is that my husband still works there. And if you didn't know, he works as a physician as well. So he's on call many times. And today he is the backup of the backup of the backup. So he has to be in Mainz, but will most likely not work. But he hasn't been home since Thursday and won't be until Tuesday. So I'm taking the opportunity to take the kids up to Mainz and visit another Christmas market and just spend some quality time with the family. Yeah, it's... It's not the easiest doing that, but it's only for a limited time and yeah, he will be working down here in a few months, so that will stop. So, let's go. So we arrived after about one and a half hours drive, stuck in traffic, um, and now we're here to grab some food and see what they bring. A change of plan. Uh, we decided against Christmas market because we have been at one yesterday and it's not that much fun for the kids. And going to meet up with some friends and yeah, do what kids love most. We're going to kind of a zoo where there's deer and boars and all that. Morning guys, today marks my last day before I start working, so I thought I'd document it a little longer because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to vlog anything in the upcoming month. And just like you needed, I woke up with a sore throat and basically no voice. It's 6.30, uh, I just had some cuddles with my son, my daughter is still asleep. Time to pick my stuff from my skincare and makeup cabinet and as you can see, Everything's a big mess, so what am I going to use today? And though it may seem as if I picked everything quite randomly, I have kind of like a plan in my head what I'm going to use when and what will work with what. And I'm continuously updating everything on my Instagrams. My skin has changed quite a lot ever since I started taking the retinol that I'm not taking, using the retinol, it's topic that I showed you in the last vlog. I love it because my skin is normal to dry right now. Still a little acne prone, but normal to dry as opposed to combination oily. And that, yeah, was quite a challenge to find things in my cabinet. Great thing that I'm a blogger and a hoarder of skincare, so I had everything I needed. And when my son then falls asleep after I'm back home, it's time for me to get some block work in and pick up the flat. This is our part of the house. This is my bureau for the next, well, with luck, 45 minutes. And I already have some tea.
quick change of scenery because after half an hour I had to go to a doctor's appointment to get my all clear for my new job tomorrow, which took forever because it's flu season and yeah, there were so many people in there. And then I rushed off to the customs because the lovely Angelina from Chuck and Lipstick, I will link her blog below, hosted a Sephora giveaway and I was lucky enough to win the prize which was $165 in total and it got held in customs because yeah no one knew what was in there so I drove there to pick it up and it was kind of a hassle because I had to explain why I didn't order it but won it and then I had to explain what a beauty blog was and then I had to explain how she told me and she had told me on Twitter so I had to look up the tweet in my Twitter feed so I could prove that I had actually won it and after a lot of discussions and a lot of laughter from the guys working there I explained what Twitter was and why I was called Linda Libra Loca and what a beauty blog was and what I had won and then I had to open the package so it's already unboxed but I want to show it you what's inside because I'm all excited there's so much stuff in there that I really desperately need like lipsticks and inside is a cosmetic bag glitter and gold and everything bold then really exciting a set of bite beauty lipsticks i have never tried a bite beauty lipstick before these are the small ones which is great because i then actually have chance to finish them so pretty i've heard a lot of good things about bite beauties more lipsticks because as you know i don't have enough this one is a set of sephora lipsticks cream and shine lipsticks six different colors these ones over here are way out of my comfort zone but that one might be great for this time of year and these look like something that i will love then something from too faced and these are the naughty kisses and sweet cheeks so it's a blush and a lip gloss and i've never tried um too Faced as well because I feel like the packaging with all the hearts yeah, I just feel like I'm too old but they are said to be great and I'm excited to dive into that and lastly a Sephora favorite set scouted by Sephora rising stars of beauty and it contains a mascara a lip plumper a makeup eraser, which I'm excited to try because I think they're not different to my usual microfiber cloths and two lip colors. So thank you again, Angelina. Thank you a lot. I enjoy the goodies and I enjoyed giving people customs a good luck. So what I'm going to do now, this is everything seasonal that I had up in my stash and now i'm going to go through my drawers conveniently here and see what i want to rotate in for yeah this is the big change for uh, the holiday season lots of swatches on my hand a new selection this one is a little bit of a cheat because it contains all my mac shadows and i'm going to take everything up with me so i have my neutrals at hand all the time these are the picks the pixie by petra palette because i'm still trying to get some use out of it now from the lighter shades and some sparkly shadows one just as the eyeshadow and that one is called morning frost it's a paint pot and a, a gel liner because i want to use it it's brown with golden flecks and it's called Avenue. For eyes again, this MAC quad mainly because I love the golden shadow that one has. And then red, red, red lipstick. Some nude options because you need some nude options and more reds. Matte one, Vavavoo, my favorite, a lip stain and a lip gloss. For the eyes as well, three taupey or goldeny khaki eyeshadow sticks because I want to see how they compare and which one I will use the most. And then my favorite winter blush, Max Factor Cream Puff Blush in Selective Pink. And some NARS Orgasm because I haven't used it in forever and I want to know if I still like it. The Max Factor Miracle Cream Blush will stay and 
some bronzer. This is the Body Shop Honey Bronze Bronzer. Okay, guys, it's now 11 p.m. and I'm going to have my first day of work tomorrow. I didn't vlog much in between because after I sorted out my makeup, I went to pick up my daughter and then we had some family time. And as you know, I don't vlog with my kids around. So, yeah, after that, I basically got in the shower and washed my hair and did a little pamper session to feel all prepped in myself for tomorrow. And now I'm going to go to bed after watching one episode of. Breaking Bad on Netflix because yeah, I haven't watched the whole um, seasons. I think we are on season four, uh, yeah, second to last season. So please, no spoilers, even though I kind of know how it's going to end. Hi, long time no see. I have the best intentions to do a catch up after my first few days at work, but when I woke up on Saturday, I was so so sick that I basically just slept or puked the whole day and yeah Sunday was for recovery and now another work week has passed and I'm ready to check in and yeah work is fun it's actually fun to get dressed every morning and talk about stuff that's not related to babies and I'm excited to see how everything's going to develop of course right now it's still new but now it's Friday and it's the beginning of the weekend yeah, and we're going to bake Christmas cookies. And then I received some blogger mail, unexpected, and this one is by a PR company I work with, and the brand is called Institutum. So I just had a quick browse, and they do donate regularly to a foundation that wants to grant access to clean water, so something I really like, not only skincare, but skincare with a social background. And this triple effect peel is with glycolic acid, and no sorry with salicylic acid plus papaya enzymes plus micropeel so it's a combined enzymatic chemical and physical scrub excited to give it a go later on the toner is an exfoliating toner with um, glycolic acid something like the pixie glow tonic which you know i love the cleansing milk is just a soothing cleanser the serum is hydrating and contains vitamin C and niacinamide, which I love in my skincare. And the eye cream will have to wait so it goes back into my up to try stash because it contains uh, retinol and I have another retinol eye cream in testing right now. But for all of you that had read on my Twitter that my red lipsticks didn't suit me anymore, you see I'm wearing a red, I'm very happy with how it looks. And yeah, the reason was the crease color I was using. Sounds odd, but I had switched to MAC Bamboo for my crease, which worked great with the brownish smoky eyes that I wore throughout all autumn, but now it was too warm and then the reds clashed but now i switched to a gray color no, i don't think you'll be able to see anything but i switched to a gray color and it i still think it's all races i'll put i'll write it down there and it works way better as far as the week is going to go i'll be working right up until christmas but i'm going to meet with some girlfriends for uh, dinner tomorrow night might block that I'm not sure yet so all that's left for me is to wish you happy holidays or I hope you had happy holidays I hope you had an amazing start 2017 and yeah here's to another year of happiness and vlogging and vlogging